Hello everybody and welcome to Pandora's Box video tutorials. Today I want to introduce the new viewer mode in Widget Designer to you. Some of you might know this mode from older versions. We took this mode out for a while, but now we have implemented it again with fundamental improvements. The first improvement is to define more clearly which features and tools can be used. The viewer mode is now simply another way to use your existing license, which means that you have access to the same feature set. The widget designer has three editions, which can be downloaded from our official Christie website. The free edition, the regular edition and the unlimited web clients edition. Every license can be started in viewer mode. In difference to the regular editing mode, the viewer mode prevents changing and editing the programming. Simply said, this mode is to view and use the programmed interface, hence the name Viewer Mode. This can be very useful for permanent installations like in a museum, where the end user should be able to control specific options but should not be able to edit or change the programming or even close widget designer. In addition, the Viewer feature allows to protect your intellectual property. As editing is prohibited, it is also not possible to see how something is programmed. Usually, you would prepare a project in one of the mentioned widget designer license types and save it. Then, you can load it in viewer mode. Let's open the widget designer and go through it together. Here, we have a user interface that provides a remote for a PowerPoint presentation. I opened this project in the regular license widget designer. As you can see, everything is running and I can open the properties to change and edit the programming. Once you're done with your programming and saved everything, there are two options to open your project in viewer mode. First is, go to the file menu. There is the option called Create Viewer Shortcut, which saves a shortcut in your preferred location, for example on the desktop. This shortcut points to your original project file, but includes an argument that says open this file in viewer mode. This option appears only when the project has been saved before. The second option is to use the PB menu. Simply navigate to the settings, widget designer, hit the checkbox open in viewer mode and choose the related path to your original project file. Now you can open your project in viewer mode via the PB menu where you can of course also put it in auto start. As you can see, both options point to a saved project. It is important to understand that there is only one project file that can be opened either in the viewer mode or in the regular mode. But let's stay in the regular version where I would like to show you a second feature of the new widget designer. The optional password protection allows to secure your project. The security settings under File menu allows us to set up two different passwords. We can enable the viewer protection and set a password only for the viewer mode and we can also enable a password for the general editing in the regular widget designer mode. Mostly it makes sense to activate both protections and choose different passwords for them so that you have one user customer password for opening and closing the project in viewer mode and one operator programmer password. For setting up the passwords, we can use as many characters as we want. There are no limits for it. We can also allow the viewer mode to be toggled in the kiosk view by using the shortcut F11. The kiosk view simply displays the widget designer project as a full screen interface without the bars on top and bottom. I'll let this checkbox be activated and click on OK to apply my changes. Just as a reminder, instead of securing the entire project with a password, you can still protect only a single page by opening its edit page dialog. You can also protect your scripts or just a part of it by using the command wd password dialog. Now it's time to save the project again and close it. By doing a double click on the viewer shortcut, which I've saved on my desktop, I get the viewer protection dialog to enter my password to be able to open the project. I'll type it in and press OK. By the way, you can enter this password using an on-screen keyboard if you only have a touch monitor and no keyboard connected to the computer. 
The loaded project in the viewer mode has some restrictions. First, you can see that the tool and the menu bars are missing. There are also no context menus or right-click menus. And all widget designer shortcuts, except two of them, are also disabled. This includes the shortcuts that toggle the project into edit mode. As a result, the viewer mode is always in run mode and there is no way to change this. The disabled shortcuts also include those that open and save projects or open a certain dialog. There are two shortcuts that are still available in the viewer mode. In case you've enabled the toggle option for the kiosk view in the security settings, then one of these shortcuts is F11, which toggles the project in and out of the kiosk view. The second shortcut is Alt F4. This Windows shortcut closes the application. Now we get the password protection dialog again. I have to enter the password to be able to close the project. As you can see, nobody can open and close the project in viewer mode accidentally or unauthorized if you set the password protection in the security settings. Now nobody can edit the programming in viewer mode and the save shortcut Ctrl S is also not available. But in case you would like to save the last state of the user interface, you can create a button with a WD save command in your programming. Please keep in mind that the save command will override the original project, since this is what you are still using while opened in viewer mode. This feature is an easy and handy one to protect your hard work and prevents accidental misuse. Have fun and thank you for watching.